Hello and welcome. I'm Johnny B. And I'm the Restless Geyser. And together we are Modeling for Advantage! Woo! Whoa! Meat! Meat lick! Meat lick! Which meat is what lick. it says on the camera when you turn Look at the camera, it's all inverted. It says meat lick, mate. Kill Team Octarius box set. We're going to unbox it for your viewing pleasure. Meat lick. Meat. You got it's, a, it. it's a wee beastie, isn't it? So once again, I mean, this is a fat old box like, the, like the other. Which you've all seen edition. other people unbox oh, two weeks ago. Oh, but not us unboxing it. Mate, I can you smell carcinogens? I can smell something, mate, but I'm not sure what it is. John used the bathroom earlier. There's a do not disturb <laughs> sign on the ball. We need to go back in there periodically I, and still Do you know what? I would, I would literally, because I'm such a brand... <coughs> <laughs> victim. Uh, uh, victim. Yep. I would pay money for that scent. For that smell? Yeah. I reckon they rattle can it. Did you sell it, you know, like next to the cursed black? <laughs> That's, pro <laughs> That's proper good. On the good. shelf. Anyways, Boom. there you right, go. We're going we're gonna, to uh, take the sprues out. We'll show oh, you yeah. in a sec. Mate, step one before we get into this, the box, right? Beautiful orange wow. inside. And I've actually lined it though, and that's nice. But look look at that. Look at that, mate. Krieger with an apron on. Oh. That looking is into the distance. Beautiful. Thinking about his farm and his dreams. And oh. his life expectancy as a guardsman. Yes. 15 hours. And I dispute the existence of veteran guardsmen. I Veterans agree with survivors that, yeah, of previous yeah, battles. Yeah, yeah, maybe. There's got to be some out there, right? Well, they're not the ones that were anywhere near the fighting. No. <laughs> <laughs> the ones near the fighting didn't. Right. There is a mountain of plastic here. Which is always good. Just counting one, two, three, four, five, six scenery sprues and arguably six or three and a half uh, infantry sprues. So six components this size. Yep. Hard through. Combat gauge. Manuals. Loads of stuff to look at here. Johnny B, get you a still of the the full box contents revealed. We're going to talk about the sprues, then we'll talk about the paperwork a little bit and our, and our thoughts on them. Is that all right? Wonderful, yeah, let's do it. Start from the top. Start, start with the things that people want to talk about. Which which unit do you want to talk about? Well, it's going to be the Commandos or the Kriegers. So, yes, it I is. mean, let's let's start with the Kriegers, right? Let's start with the Kriegers. Let's get them boys out of the way. Okay, so these are coming on one and a quarter sprues? Yeah, just like an upgrade sprue. Uh, Deathcore Krieg. So these, although they're called Deathcore Krieg, which makes them sound German, they've actually got frock coats with with uh, tailed. Uh, you said they look more like French. They look like French World War One soldiers, not German ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, because of the uniform style. But obviously, what I I really like, I mean, these models have been around in resin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death Core Creek. Yeah, I understand that there are some differences in the way the gas mask is formed, but these really have a powerful First World War look about them. Right down to what I especially like is the is the layered armor plates. So there were there was body armor in the First World War. Okay, and but wasn't it like them, proper plate though? Like it's like Germans it's like what, with it's like half inch thick steel. Steel. Yeah, but, but but layered for the articulation like these are. Wow. Um, and they actually, believe it or not, do you know do you know which soldier would generally be issued with that armour? It's the last one in the world you would ever expect. Oh. The sniper. Why is the sniper got armor? <laughs> you think it's like because they're all in trenches, it's siege warfare, so the sniper's likely to be firing, he's the one who's gonna expose himself. Not the guys that are running over the top when the whistle blows. No, because blows. you don't snipe during those environments. You're sniping in the quiet times. No, I'm not about why not give them guys the armour. Well, there's a lot of debate over whether it actually made any difference, certainly in terms of it being really, really heavy. Oh, it's true. not good enough to stop a bullet. And a machine gun. Well, right, stop splinters, <laughs> glances away. But this is science fiction, mate, true. so it's whatever you like. True, fact. But yeah, that kind of, um, that sort of frock coat that turns back at the front, that's World War One French. That's that's very much World War One. Well, I never the gas mask, but all of the it, there's there's nothing on here that looks like the Cadian sprue, uh, and I love that no. about it. 
You know, right? the, the radios, the packs, um, the bolt guns, the las guns, they all look different and they all look of that style. They also look much better proportioned. If you just look at this, like this flamethrower. Yeah. That looks like it's designed for a dude to carry, whereas yeah, the, other the one the Canadian bulky. has is the same size for a Space Marine. Yep. It's the same size flame. True, 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 uh, true. Much, much better proportioned. The gas mask is interesting the way they've done them. So they're built into the helmets. And they obviously, they, they've got now, the long snout, the elephant's trunk. I wonder how versatile that's going to be in the sense that I think you're going to have Versatile kit bash, no. But no. these are all monopoles. And these have all got like rebreathing equipment mounted on the chest. And they're probably, the heads are all going to be facing forwards. Yep. Boo! I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. But the proportions are nice. I like that. And some of them are a bit more wiggly than others, actually, John. So there's a little bit of give in them. Yeah. True. Yeah, there's a little true. bit. And I'm sure a, um, a decent model maker could a replace the maker, hose. Un un unlike us. So not like us. Yeah. But, yeah, that but could you've be got good. a nice mixture of extra equipment, crag and crack grenade. But also you've got your, uh, your pick. It's got a hammer on one side and a pick on the other. See, it's number 99 in the in the top corner. Yeah, I'm never going to find that, but yeah. No. Um, oh, yeah, 99, 99. So, you, yeah, you got the pick. Uh, yeah. But people are very fizzy about the shovels, mate. So you, that's what you need to find is the you old entrenching the shovel, tool. The old entrenching tools. Uh, which are on here somewhere. But, yeah, it, look, you get all the weapons options as well. You get a melt gun, plasma gun, grenade launcher, which is cool because it's like the breech loading nade launcher. Maze. Mace. Which again, if a trench raiding in World War One, they did. You, that's the yeah, thing. You go, if you go to some of the uh, museums in Flanders mm. that are where um, they've, you know, the archaeology, it's not just, we know stuff from soldiers' diaries, which they weren't allowed to keep, but they did anyway. Mm. Um, but we dug this stuff up. And it's like people improvising, like morning I, stars and stuff. It's like a wow. bit of wood We a load of nails. So it's, if I'm going on a trench raid, mate, I'm going to hit I'm you with this. I'm taking that. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. It's, there's, there's a real there's a real viciousness. And then you've got this massive doctor's bag. Have you seen that? I have. I've just got to that. So this is on the, like, upgrading on the, on the, on the, on the sprue of yeah. sorts. Um, and that comes with, I think some of these other components go in it. Yes, you can see. Yeah, so the, 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 the doctor's bag is in two parts open. And then there's, like, a stand that goes in the middle of it. Yeah. Because that actually gets its own base. Put to the instructions. <laughs> yeah, whether they, whether there's separate rules for, for deploying it. But it, it's a huge, huge out. doctor's bag. Um, yeah, really nice kit. Look, you've seen you've seen this stuff all over. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna labour the point. Johnny B's got himself some Kriegers, but you're not gonna see them built and painted oh, no. for a lifetime. One day they'll be out there, but for Maybe. the moment, that was the Kriegers. Krieg. Very nice, good to see them in plastic. I think there's these are monopoles. But in terms of the posing of the model, but they're not monoposed in terms of which weapon uh, and, and equipment options, options you have to give them. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of options within them. True they're, they seem more flexible than like the Death Guard multi part. Yeah, that which was weren't like, very multi part. One pair of arms. Yeah, these the the arms and the hand. Some of them have got up there. Um, uh, chop to the it's not unlimited options by any no, means, no. but th there are some options, which um, is good. And options within here to make different Imperial Guard regiments, like using I, these bits. I just hope this is a precursor to, you know, to a lot more of that kind of stuff, I think. Yeah. We shall see. That's that's the Kriegers. Next up, <clears throat> Orky, Orky Boys, There's Commandos. So you get slightly more sprue for the Orcs because it's slightly chunky, yeah. And first glance at this, mate, is the size of these pieces. Again, yeah. This, so, <laughs> it's like these backpacks could fit one of them Kriegers these, in them. Yeah, could take one home. Do. So these are obviously remodelled and closer to the newest Orc boys in size, which isn't quite a knob, I wouldn't say, but um, I, I, th I feel like they're slightly more chunky than a normal boy. Yeah, I feel you. You know, if you get like that old Space Raiders Orc, I reckon it's probably, knob is probably oh, not yeah, as chunky, yeah, sure. not as dangerous looking as these guys. But you get all the bits on there, again, similar options. Now, these are monopoles. So, again, it's ten guys, but ten you get guys. two extra characters in here. You get your... You get Ninja your Gra Ninja Gra. Ninja Gra. Um, and you get your Bomb Squig. Yay! Um, Ninja Gra. The Ninja Gra is just awesome, because they're a gimp mask and everything. <laughs> all the components you'd ever want. Um, 
And the faces for these are, are so good. Although we've seen a few of them in that animation. Yes. Um, with, for like the mech and the guy with the, with the cap. But there's a whole bunch of different heads. Yeah. But what's really noticeable about these is just the size of the guns. On this sprue in particular, this this third one, where you've got what I assume is like the, the, the flamer type weapons and the <laughs> rocket launcher, they're enormous. Call that a noise. <laughs> Me. Jeez. Comparing that to a Krieger. But yeah, this is really good. And I think it's the first time we've had plastic commandos ever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is really good. Loads of character in there, loads of gobbins, your pistols, you've got all the face masks, full backpacks. These guys mean business. But they're also, John, if you look at the, like on this bro, you've got three commando bodies, and these these are pretty modular for monopoles insofar as the body, the torso, and the legs are a single piece, yes. and you're going to plug in arms and a face. Yes. Now, they're not Truth. all like that, but many of them are like that. So... Well, We'll have to look at the destructions to see if there's specific heads that go with specific bodies, blah, blah, blah. But I, I'm seeing a fairly common head socket. Now, the downside to that is looking at this, at all because do love their kit bashing, is these guys have got bigger heads <laughs> than the other orcs. And that yeah. that's that's not the same socket that the old heads go into. It is not the same. No, far from it. This is recessed opposed to the old orc bobble for yes. the neck. Yes. Um, but I'm sure that would not... This way, the the Yorks. This is a, this from doing that. I love it. Being I'm looking. actually more fizzy about these than I am. The now, now you've got them in your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there they you look, go. They look fun. Again, you've seen all this stuff. Yeah, people have had it already. I don't, I, yeah, let's. We're not going to labour. Let's the skip point. that bit. The people might not have shown you though. While we're on the subject of the dudes, it's a decal sheet. So I love new. the decal sheet. Shiny this, new decal. This sheet. says it's a 2021 decal sheet. This Orc Clan mm -hmm. decal sheet. It's got a lot of orc decals on it. A lot of really small ones, which a lot of your orcas, you want yeah, that. Yeah. Put little patches and badges like you're there in the Boy Scout. I love You've got these. the Boy Scout section yeah. up there. Is that, yeah, yeah. I've got, my, I've got my stabby badge. <laughs> I've got my clubby badge. <laughs> so, I mean, just put my, should have one arm with one down one arm. Again, really good detail on these tiny, tiny ones at the top that you're yeah. talking about, the... the this is like their language, isn't it? This is, is their it? alphabet, yeah. It's this the is alphabet in all. All the, all the dags and bits and bobs. Right. Um, but yeah, you get all the main clans on there, which is cool. Yeah. So, so I'm yeah. not familiar with the previous, but when I opened the box, I, I thought this looked new. Similar. It looks this fresh, it's really new. grand. Yeah. This is a new design. Um, and because all orcs, you know, and you've even got, you've got your um, checkerboard oh. symbols, but then you get your Krieger decal sheet. Hey, it's got like minefield on it. Achtung meinen. Achtung meinen. Um, so this isn't going to show up very well because a lot of these decals are white. Yes. Uh, but but in the white ones, are there numbers? Squad numbers? There's some Imperial Aquilas. They've got like talent marks, Interestingly. I can't actually read these, John. I, I'll tell you what it says. So the top row, it <laughs> yeah. says um, infantry markings. There's a little bit with the, um, the little side with the trench. It actually says... Trench and minefield. I wonder if we're going to see a Krieg terrain kit come out with this. Interestingly, yeah. at the bottom, it says also you've got vehicle markings. So you've got, you know, options for for the armour just from this one sheet, right. which is awesome. And several, several different iterations of, yeah. uh, of Krieg and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this, we're talking about something it's you too much. see. But this isn't a reproduction of, it might be, is it, a potentially of a Forge World one? Possibly. Again, like I don't new, know if they ever did a new decal sheet, um, which sure is nice. Would have. And again, you've got so this. You know, this reminds me of when I was talking about the scout patches. It's like the ball action ones. You've got these tiny decals to put like regimental iconography on yep. shoulder pads and, yep. and um, uh, upper arm. It's like C's for command. You've got like a little elite badges. They're absolutely, all the skulls. They're, they're, they're really, really tiny. Great inclusion in their decal sheets. Something I'd say often when you get start sets of uh, start place, they often skimp on the extras with things like that. Some, you some just do, get yeah. the plastic and the dice, and that's it, that's and that because that's what you need to get playing. Whereas things like the decal sheet really bring models alive, mm. especially when they're in like these. You want to paint your orcs orange, 
yellow, whatever. But if you're going to paint them in that commando, they're going to be quite drab. Need something. And the Kriegers are probably going to be quite yeah, drab. Yeah, it's all pretty damn drab. So, that, so I think some nice bright decals to put a little bit of collar on the shoulders or something could be quite useful. Yeah, true. There you go. And there's That's the new really boys. Good. So those are the two units that come in the set. Now, a lot of people are pretty just fizzy about A lot of people, I think, bought this set just to get the Orc Commandos. Yeah. Or just to get the Kriegers. Yeah. Actually, we're totally the opposite. We got this because we want to play Kill Team. Yeah, um, surprisingly, We're probably yeah. not going to see any of those on the channel for ages. No. Pogson's going to make some Commandos. You're going to do some Kriegers, but we'll all be dead before you finish a Krieger. True fact. Surely. So we're going to move on to the scenery, I think. Okay. In terms of scenery, it's worth mentioning before we get to it, you do get a Kill Team board in here. It's the Always same size good. as their new board. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna open this up and show no. you. It is a. It is a board with a desert thing, and you've seen hundreds of these before. Yeah. I'm sure it's great that they include it. It is not a paper play mat. This is a solid bit of card. Um, they make these in two different ways. They make them like this, which fold into this size. There's one which is and there's four, one that folds into four, even more. And there's smaller. one that's half of that. Yeah, and that is a nightmare. <laughs> It's a nightmare to fold and unfold, but that, that other version is so much easier to store. True. This is a very big bit of cardboard. Yeah. When you've got several Kill Team boards, you've got yeah. a big pile of these. Uh, so that's the board anyway. Glad that they include it. Um, downside is if you want to use these. So this does match with the new 40k rules sizes. The minimum size. need four of these to play on their, oh, really? play on their full size game board. Still gets you on the tabletop. Gets Oosh. you going, mate. And looking nice. Combat gauge. Now this is all new, isn't it? Right. You've got Combat your square to your triangle to your square circle circle, right? Yeah, mate, because because we can't use a ruler, although they do give you a ruler as well, with the different symbols on it. So your ruler's got your pentagon on. Yes. This is your six incher, but you'll notice it's graduated at one inch marks. So it's a six inch ruler with so a hexagon on it. Six inch ruler with a with pentagon a knot, with a on knot, it. With a knot on pentagon it. Pentagon five, five for six inches. Yeah, because triangle means one, not three. Circle means two, not what? Right, combat gauges. So the most of us are probably just... <laughs> I don't think that deep, man. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> most of us are probably just going to say, this guy moves four inches, right? But this sprue is actually required for kill team. Arguably, I don't know, a tournament or whatever, somebody might be prickish about you've got to move them in yeah. circles. But the barricades are actually part of the game. Really? So there's, there's some barricades on here. And I believe in the deployment mission stuff, These each player now. gets... Yeah, but you get to put them down where you want, I think. That's part of all the right, game. Okay, that's different. Is it So when you go Bit into a fun. kill team event, you need to bring your own barricades. You need to bring your own combat gauges, tokens. That It's part of your tools of the game. Well, I never... So this is a, this is a requirement for playing kill team. That's... Which is interesting. Them's the rules. I could be completely wrong about that, of course. <laughs> I've not actually opened the rule book yet. But that's what I, that's what I kind of come across. So that's the first of the uh, plastic sprues, which some people might have thought was a bit of scenery. The combat gauges barricade. That actually Boom. happened to me. That I split a box with a friend. He took it box. thinking it was terrain. Thinking it was terrain. I mean, it, it, it has got it some a little, terrain, bit, uh, a little bit of terrain. In it, but you yeah. need that terrain. I kind of need that. Yeah. Anyways, talking of rule books. Yes, rule books, mate. We've got another pack. Oosh! Oosh! So what you got? Uh, Kill Team Core Book. Yeah, mate. And we got Kill Team Octarius. Then it looks like we got the tokens in this pack and the destructions as well. Oh, plasticated books, mate. You're loving it. You're loving it, loving it, loving oh, it. Oh, this is the kind of thing you want to let, you want to let, give these to children, let them inhale, you know. I mean, our, our parents have asbestos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we need to abuse our children's lungs yeah, yeah, yeah. by Build giving them, them plasticated books. Make them strong. Right, so the two books you've got here, the core book, this is the core rules. There's, there's no arguing with the fact that the, the production value of Games Workshop softbacks has gone up massively. Are you happy with them? This is a lovely thing to behold. There's no doubt about it. I recognise a respectable amount of art from before, but there's a lot of new stuff as well. Um, 
Look, we, this is not a full review. No, you, you is, have just seen me open this. You've for the seen first most of time. it. This is us having a look. You know, um, well, maybe we'll show you a picture at a contents page or something. But the point that is worth noting is that there are two books in here. Um, for those of you that are splitting with a friend, the core book. This is the rules of the game. He does not include an index of forces. Right. Any of them, not even the Kriegers. I and don't believe it even includes the Kriegers. That's just a... I had to ask, mate. You had I to had ask to the ask. Question. I had to ask. Yeah, yeah. You get your own copy of the book there and you're asking me, and I yeah, told I you that I haven't read I know, it. I know, I know. Having a look. Never have I. Especially I'm going to say play, open play. No. As far as I am aware, no. I, I haven't seen any in here. That doesn't mean there's not like an example data sheet of a space marine. I think the which, second book is where we're going to see some. The second book, the Socteris, this is basically a codex. Yeah. This is a codex for Orc Commandos and Kriegers. Now, there is another book which you buy separately called the, the Compendium. Compendium. Yeah, we've got that on order. It didn't arrive with our main batch of stuff. It's coming Ooh. separately. Um, so what this is doing is... Yeah, yeah, it's it's like a codex. So if you can see, as you um, go to here, there, yeah. it's got your data sheets, it's got your ploys in it. So this is a much more fleshed... These two kill teams have got a lot more meat on the bone than the others. For now. For now. For now. There is a roadmap online that looks like if you play certain factions, you might be waiting a long time to see them come out. I've not but this is them. a game where you play with five to ten models. Yeah. yeah. So um, right now your faction may look really pants in the compendium, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stay that yeah. way. It's, so it's, it's like think of that as like that's the in the compendium the is index. like the index. This is the codex. Now presumably they're all going to get a well, like the old. Whether they're going to get a Standard Maybe not a box. Book. But yeah, sorry. I was going to say box. You know, this Would is a Death Guard that? box. But I think that Octarius has been built. This is not Kill Team 2. This is Kill Team Octarius. Or Kill Team 3, I think, actually, isn't it? Yeah, there was another one. Yeah. This is Kill Team Octarius. And I think that the, the suggestion is, and this is limited. You, there's loads of them around. Don't rush to buy it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But they're not going to make more. This is a product that will exist, it will have a lifespan, and then it will go again. Wow. But I think that the expectation is they're going to make Kill Team Dude Bros, is and that might be Space Marines set. and Thousand Suns, with different scenery, different... And another... And another one of these. Now, whether we get the different factions, all of them come in a double player box, or whether some of them do, and some of them come as standalones... Yet to see. You know, Unless there's We're in week one there, of we Kill Team, know. yeah. You know, but I, I think there certainly is an expectation they will have. And they did last time. There's, there were several versions of that Kill Team box. There's been several versions of the Necromunda starter set. And yes. I think the plan is that there will be another version of this Revamp. with different armies. Yeah. And that will have that in. But I don't think everyone's going to get that treatment. I think you'll find that the armies that they want to develop, that they've got new models for, they will do. Mm -hmm. That's that's my feeling. So these two different books you get and get your destructions. Get your destructions. I mean, well, uh, is there anything much to say? If you haven't seen recent GW they're, they're instructions, pretty solid. They're, really they? they're new, full color. You can pay, you go and buy yourself a land speeder, a scout land speeder, or some old one, and look at them instructions. That <laughs> one page with just an exploded diagram of it. God, I don't know how this goes yeah. together. I, I like this that it gives you as, piece by piece. As you said, there's the options for that torso yeah. on a Krieger. These yeah. are like the options that you can have arms yeah. wise, blah blah yeah. blah. You can smack it. And up. actually, they tend to be more modular than they're providing in here. Yeah, because I think it, you can build every model with all of the options they provide in here from the one sprue. Ooh, yeah. I don't mean you can get all the options. I mean, if you use this part in Model 2, yeah. you won't have a problem building one of the options in Model 9. Yeah? True. But there might be something on Model that's, that they provided as an option for Model 9 that would fit on Model 2. They just didn't provide it because they're not. you couldn't make all of the combinations yeah. that they presented at the set. True. You know. But so, still, pretty yeah. solid. Destruction nice. is good. Looking at the plasma gun on here, now it looks a lot more like a shot. It's a lot more squat than the other oh, one. Oh, really? Yeah, trench, I like that. Trench plasma. Trench plasma, <laughs> mate. That's what you need. So you get uh, that. And you get your tokens. Um, I don't think this is worse cardstock per se in terms of thickness, but it does feel it in density, I have to say. Yeah. Um, Very and light. these don't feel like they're, plas they're not plasticated. 
What that means though is that you can buy your own specific plastic felt backed kill team tokens later on down the line. If some third party makes them. Because no, a workshop are going to love, they're going to do that. They're going to be all over plastic it. Ones. Do dice. No, not yet, but not yet. You know, but that's maybe. another thing they can sell us. Uh, but you, but your token sheets, yeah. So if you're not a kill team, if you didn't buy this set and not much of a kill team player, and you want to play, I think the three things that you can't expect someone else to provide for you is this. Yeah. Double double check that. <laughs> Ask us again in a week. Yeah. But I think you need your own barricades. Because right. I think I have mine and you have yours and we place them. You're obviously going to need some tokens. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is assuming you're using someone else's manual. Yeah. And I think you have your own hand of cards. Really? I think this is all stuff. We, own we, hand of cards. We've just not looked yeah. yet. Um, but that's just looking at the battle report. So, you know, you like you choose a particular theme and you're going to score your objective points based upon your deck. So if you and I are both going to play from the same set, we're going to need to potentially need two of the same set of cards. That's different. Yeah. So th those are like, if you're going to play some kill team with expecting someone else to so lay on So you're telling me you. it's a bit like that other one? That, um, that other one, the, Arena. You know, the, is that what it's called? I don't know what... The Sigma one where you've got the hexes and you, you're moving around and you've got your own deck and that's got your no, objective no, in it. Nothing no, like that. You're okay. talking about um, Jade Spire yes, and its iterations. That, yes. No, Not like that. No, what it, the way it works is you, you choose a theme, like, I don't know, Spec Ops or something... All be, of this is like, I, I don't actually I know, know, I, know I know, I know. So there's several ways you can score your objective points. And you pick a deck. Kill a and I'm saying deck, it's like six cards. Right. And you're going to use that one to score your secondary objectives. And I think each turn you're going to draw two of those cards and pick one and discard the other Sweet. one. And I don't think there's enough cards for us both to have picked that same. Have the same. Have the same. Roger, yeah. get you now. It may not work exactly like that, but it works something like that. Yeah, yeah, man. But because that's how you score victory, it is important that you have access yes. to the cards that you want and need. Oosh. And having had some forethought about, I'm going to play this deck, this is how I'm going to score my points, because it works well for my kill Better team. Better for this kill team. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So, so far, so good, I think. Yeah. I'm happy with that. They put these dice in the, in the cards in the kind of wallets that they fall out of the. Lovely, yeah. Gives you a no, there's no lid, sense there's no of lid security, to it, but yeah. Which, which it, is even in the it. box, they'll fall out. We have Warcry <laughs> came like this, and every time I open that box, there's <laughs> cards everywhere. Uh, well, see, it's Shonky Dice. First disappointment, Shonky Dice. What do you mean? What well, is lovely, lovely little orange cracker dice. They're 12 rather than 16 mil dice, mate. We got better dice in the original. We got really nice dice in the original. We got Kilton. broken dice in the original. You mean they, they were a bit pro six? They're or pro, pro six. One. Yeah. I'm looking forward to rolling these. <laughs> but they have given you 10 orange dice. Yes! It, I do like the colour scheme in Kill Team, I've got to say. The orange and the big. Yeah, and they're really black. good at like stamping that, you know, the this everywhere. logo yeah, yeah, and yeah. that colour scheme yeah. everywhere. But it's good because it allows you to pick the Kill Team relevant stuff out of the sea of, of Games of Workshop 40k. Stuff. You instantly recognise I think they've done a really good job with the branding. Mm. Yeah, even when it's like that. Even that. that. That's like, how do I not? I know it's got the words Kill it's Team. It's got orange and the black. But it's the background that's quite orange. Right. Uh, final thing to talk about in the box then is the sprues, right? Um, the other sprues that other we have sprues. not looked at. Scenery. Six sprues from four different types. You got the same? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. All right. Do you want to pick one out, John? Six sprues. Uh, let's just look at the gobbins first. Okay, so these are scrap piles. This isn't new. This is what came out with that Speed Freaks game, right? This came in Speed Freaks, and I think you might get a bit of this with the Mech Workshop. Okay. Or yes, one, you or do. one of those. Yes. Yeah, I don't know yeah. whether you get both. But, so these have been called scrap piles. So these have been around. Forever. So you're calling it two sprues, but it's actually one, but it's Is so it heavy. One, they split to, it. Yes, they split have. it in the middle. Okay, right. So there you go. Um, you scrap. Scrap part. That's not new. Uh, then this one. So I'm not so sure about this one. It kind of, again, looks a bit like it comes with the Mech Workshop. It's got that look about it. This is one of them nodding oil yes. donkey things. Yes. It's, it's a, a, a wellhead. Yeah, that thing. Oh, wellhead. Um, Which looks awesome. Yeah, and you've got some big boilers. So what's nice about this and what's nice about these pieces in general, as we look at the others, you'll see it more clearly, 
is they've done a good job of taking the existing imperial sort of manufactorum looking buildings design and oaking it up just plates so everywhere these, these look like they were originally imperial buildings which are covered in rivets because the orcs have fixed them and i like that there's some awesome little details on it on yeah, here yeah, as well there's absolutely. tools laying around you've got uh, glyphs and bits and bobs on there and plenty of spikes naturally and yes spikes an would and put rivets there. and cogs and unnecessary extra bits and um, i think so you're talking about that, that, that orc if i if i have a concern about this set if there's anything that troubles me is that i really like kill team and i'm really excited for the new edition yeah but i don't really want anything out of this box no just the rules just the rules i want the rules that's what i want well they are available separately true facts. yeah well yes <laughs> but i think about if you're gonna buy the rule book and the tokens and the combat gauge and all those things i'm oh, gonna yeah. spend nearly as much yeah again. so i might as well get, get exactly. all but exactly. i'm gonna end up with an orc shanty town and i don't play orcs i don't really play against many people that so have why orcs. the hell pieces are we fighting over it <laughs> <laughs> exactly and this is a substantial bit of center so you've got that well head and these are nice um, so these are more your scatter pieces, but yeah. they're good because they're substantial. They're gonna they're gonna be line of sight blocking in a game which is an individual figure scale. Yeah, yeah. You know, even even that wellhead, you can hide a tau fire warrior behind or a guardsman, and I like that. Good. It's, it's well designed scenery. That all too often in a Pariah Nexus did this. So other sets. Of oh bonus. yeah, what was that all about? You, get you, you just got some scatter scenery. Yeah. And, and you've still basically got a, a two-dimensional board. Ultimately, yeah. You want some stuff with some height to it to give you that war game feel. But that's because they give game you game. corridors and stuff, didn't they? So you, your line of sight blocking terrain was a red line on the corner of the, yeah, the corridor. Yeah, and that's just not exciting. Yeah. To yeah. some it is. To so some those are the two is. for which you want to get individuals. Right. But they're, but they're, the double they're, they're very orky, including having orc motifs. And yes. that's the bit that I was saying is that this is a... This isn't a shanty town. This is an orc town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one. Um, let's have a look at the first sprue of this lot, which oh, is, looks like the gate. Mm. It's got a door. Well, yes. Not a gate. I don't know so what it is. these allow you to build basically four building corners. You've right. got two of these and two similar, which we'll look yep. at in a minute. So you've got a bit of flooring and a bit of walling that's going to allow you to build that kind of L shape with a, with a, with the second floor. Yep. Yeah. This oh, wow. one has got a big kind of immersion heater, um, combi boiler built. Yeah, into lovely. It. Yeah, nice um, and warm. So, in terms of modularity, this is where this one's a little bit more disappointing. I don't think there's much you can do because because of the corrugated shape of this piece. This floor piece fits exactly to it. Now, that's not to say you can't make this modular, but it hasn't. It hasn't. Doesn't feel like it's been designed with that in mind. Is you're going to get this yep. twice yep. and the other one yep. twice without considerable effort of changing without, the shape without 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 cutting into the pieces, yep. which is not necessarily what you have in but, mind. I mean, it's cool though, right? Start a set. Oosh. Here you oh, go. Mate. Have some bits. So this, if you think about this um, compared to the previous one. This has got four four buildings yeah. with two floors. In the starter set to go on a three by on two little, football. Yeah, yeah. Plenty that's of coverage. A, that's a lot of scenery. That's and it's got scatter on top of that. Because the second one is similar, but it's just straighter. Same but different. Yeah. It's just it's just straighter. Oh yeah. So presumably between these these two sprues, you can you can make something more substantial. Yeah, I wonder if, if these would plug in like into the side of that yeah they they might but how the floors then tessellate it's a different question good shout because the flooring very much fits yeah that is the shape one of way. the front here it's still cool now, though again it it might it might do john they've got they're at until we've angles. until we've unplugged it and had a little play, but it, it, it's not it's do. not a two minute answer what yeah. i will tell you is people have had this set for a couple of weeks yeah you can there have, should be have a look online. at people out there who will have already done this, can answer these questions. I don't want to give you a half arse answer to that question. No. There we um, go. And it definitely can be done with some chopping. Uh, there may be certain combinations. Um, 
But yeah, what's 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 nice about it is just how how plug and play that's going to be. And what I would say about building larger pieces, we did build some larger pieces out of the, the previous kill team set, and that actually become quite difficult to interact with because you've got to get yes. your hand underneath to get the models yeah. and so forth. That kind of once you once a, an individual piece of scenery has got more than two sides, and I think is more than about six eight inches in any one length, yeah. more than eight inches long or more. Uh, um, yeah, more than eight inches long with the floor above is suddenly a real problem. Yeah, yeah. Getting the models in and out, especially agree. in a game where exactly where one model is and line of sight and all that, that's, that is the game. You don't, I don't think you want them. We found them quite frustrating to use and tried to avoid them or put them in the background yeah, as, as kind of bits of scenery. Nice, but they're not really they, functional. They, they do look great, but they're not very functional uh, as gamers. Yeah, true and this is this is down on that level. Look, mate, mate is that, that it? That you is get bases, look, all hey. the sprues. Yeah, we we'll get some still so you can see kind of what I was talking about in relation to that. Um, how how much? But you've you've got four on the back, bits yeah. of buildings, that's, mate. That's covering that board. You're good to go. Th this is a. A cracking start set is £125. Is it worth the money? And how do we feel about it? Well, I think the rules are probably worth 20 quid. Yeah, if you compare I'm it to a lot of the other pretty confident stuff. that those two kill teams will go for 35 pop, each at least. Yeah. when they're released separately. That's just a going rate for new... T the old Cadian so with, with some extra heads is 30 quid. Yeah. yeah. This, those Kriegers are going to be 30 at least. 35, maybe even 40. So... 35, 70, 90, six sprues of scenery, boards, tokens. I don't think it is a massive saving. In terms of but games I think workshop, it is solid. Yeah, you're doing all right. If you want to play Kill Team, this is pretty good. Because you won't have a problem selling any of these bits that you don't no, want. No, that's not <laughs> A lot of people are going to want these. Yep. If you like orcs and you want an orc playing board, when they come to sell these separately, I don't know if you remember again with the Kill Team stuff, you got like two sprues of this for about 30 quid when yes. they came to sell the yep. scenery separately. Not necessarily in the combinations you wanted and so forth. It was all quite expensive stuff. So, yeah. That is the way. If you just if you just want Kill Team rules, right. it, then it, it is a bit disappointing. But almost certainly your best bet is to get yourself on eBay. Yeah. Because lots of people who wanted just the models and don't play Kill Team, I'll have all that stuff on there for peanuts. Maybe not today, but within a week or two. Yes, once the It'll saturation be a wash point is... Uh, with yeah. manuals and stuff, because the, the demand for the Commandos and the Kriegers far exceeds, I think. The want for the game. The want for Kill Team, <laughs> yeah. True Which fight. maybe is the way I should have done it. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking about that. <laughs> uh, guys, I hope you found this interesting. You will be seeing some Kill Team from us quite soon. Uh, it's not going to involve these armies or nope. the set, but it is nope. going to involve these rules yep. and a compendium. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. that in the outtakes.
Yeah.